Okay, let's see what we've got here. Let's attack the knight. Might as well take the knight off the board. Cast all king safety. Let's block the centre down. Don't like this sort of position, but this is what it's been given to us. So we'll push through now with the pawn. Develop the knight, protecting the bishop. And tidy up the pawns here. So just blocking down now. So they're looking to force through the centre already. So we can capture quite nicely. And put pressure onto the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Knight's there to develop. Or oh, could go with the queen. Capturing with the queen, lining up towards the king side area. Also looking to take the pawn if they did take. Now we can develop our knight attacking a pawn which has no protection on it at the moment. So we're looking for a 2 on 1. Put the queen onto the pawn. And now we can take the bishop off the board. Knights on the bishops in our mantra. Attack the knight. Not really looking to take the knight off the board per se really. It was just more of a kind of small threat. Could attack this pawn with the pawn now looking to open up space towards their king. And ooh, we coof, that was close, that was close. Gonna have to bring it back. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we still got enough pressure towards their king area whilst they're thinking about queen side castling. So can capture pawn is on, actually on their queen so they had to do something there could bring the rook up and put a check on but he's actually got a check on our queen so how do we want to play this do we want to just keep it safe let's go with the rook rook exchange paul morphy style you attack my piece i'll attack yours so i think we win out positionally if the knight takes the queen we will will be ahead in development for the rook it looks in a nice position diagonal for the bishop as well putting pressure towards the king gary shit looks not too bad to me and we've got more space to be taken off pawns as well so it does actually capture so we grab so with our improved position so now we can actually take the knight off the board if we wanted but we might as well look to take some of these pawns because we don't really want the past pawn coming through at this moment let's attack this pawn So he's wanting our bishop to take his knight, but he's going to have a pass pawn. So we can grab this pawn here, like we mentioned before. Got to be careful not to go in front of the knight, because the knight can attack. We could bring the rook up and attack the queen, kick the king. Bring this around, double up. So that's a more favourable position. Now we can start squishing their king a little bit, so put one check on. He's looking for the back rank, but our king's got safe. Let's put another check on the king here. And it should be fairly okay for us to jostle an attack on this pawn and bring the bring the other rook up. King's got safe space. Don't think we need to worry about that. The king can move. Our king is safe, as far as I can see. So we're looking for a back ranker with the rooks. And Okay, nice one, resigned. Okay, so just uh, go through, run through that one quick, pretty quickly. So I developed the knights, brought the bishop through, took the knight off the board, and castled king safety. Blocked off the center, pushed up, defended with the knight, and blocked off, again, just making everything tidy. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, queen comes through, looking for a two on one on the pawn. He defends knights on the bishops, as we mentioned. Bring the bishop through. So the safety for us was on the F file, basically, because that's the gap that we wanted to start putting pressure on towards the king area. So a good focal point, grabbing, going for those exchanges, and not actually taking the knight because we didn't want them to have a pass pawn coming through. So now we can double up. And pretty safe, pretty straightforward. And now we can look towards going for a back rank checkmate, but the opponent wasn't wearing any of that. 